This bird has been living in our walls. Morning. Hi. So, welcome to this lovely story time about how there was literally a bird living in our walls for probably about four to five months. And I decided that I am going to make this get ready with me because as you can see, I am not ready for the day yet. Let's get right into it. Once upon a time, Freya and Michaela moved into this beautiful new said town home and then they started hearing noises. And these noises were like an intense, oops, and they started hearing these intense scratching sounds. Oh, I'm sure. It's like, but it was like way worse than that. I can't even do a good scratching sound, but that's okay. My scratching sounds are not quite on par with the scariness and the intensity that was this freaking bird that was living in our wall. But we didn't know it was a bird. I thought that it was either a huge rat or like a cat or if it wasn't any of those, then my last resort was it must be haunted because I just didn't know what else it could be. Like it just didn't make any sense. This is definitely not a makeup tutorial because I do my makeup like a grandma. But I can't do this. What happened was after hearing all of the scratching sounds, we've been hearing it for about five to six months. That's a long time to hear something in your wall. A long time, okay? Now, this has all been going on in our laundry room. If I haven't said that, I'm sorry. Right there, behind this door. One day, the sounds were just unbearably loud. I just got to the point where I was like, Bryant, you have to go look and inspect. Bryant is my husband. You have to go look and inspect because we need to find out what the heck is living in our wall. He goes and he takes apart the washer and dryer and like moves them so that we can access the dryer duct because that's where it sounded like it was coming from. And he's all sticking his hand up there and filling around. All of a sudden, he kind of fills a bird up there, but he can't like grab it because it like flew away off into the abyss, I guess. He made it so the opening was still there so it could come down and fly out if it needed to. But we just made sure that we kept our laundry room door closed. I literally cannot multitask, so I'm having a really hard time telling you the story and putting on my makeup. I think I might quickly just finish my makeup and then I will come back and tell you the story. So back to what I was talking about because now I am ready and now I can actually focus a little bit better. Basically, after my husband had made that little opening for the bird to come out of, we kept this laundry room door closed. And the next day we went to church and we made sure that the door was closed while we were gone. And when we came back from church, nothing could have prepared me for what was about to ensue. We heard banging on the walls like never before and squawking. And we knew that that bird had come out of the wall and was now flying around our laundry room. So I open up the door and I'm going to insert a clip of what I saw because it was a little intense. Ah! <laughs> There's gonna be Bruno, it's gonna eat these. All right, now mind you, I was expecting a little, a little bird, a little, a little songbird or something, but this was a big bird. I don't know what type of bird it was, like maybe like a crow or a blackbird or I don't know, in the comments below, let me know what type of bird it is. But I was just expecting it to be a smaller bird. So the fact that it was like so big, I was like, how were you living in our wall? Then how we got it out of the laundry room was I opened up the laundry room door, screamed my head off, and then the bird flew out because I didn't close the door and it went straight for the window that is right over here, I'll show ya. So this window is right in our upstairs area and it's right across from the laundry room door and that bird flew straight to that window hit it and then flew down our stairs. And then it went and we have a sliding glass door window and my husband was able to calmly and ever so gently guide it outside, which was a huge blessing because I was panicked. I was not in the right state of mind at all. I am so grateful for my husband and that he was able to help me get the bird out of the house. 
Then the bird flew off into a tree and it was just sitting there all mocking us like, <laughs> I did that, I'm gonna come back. And you know what the crazy part is? So we talked to our builder because our house is under a warranty and they told us that they actually can't fix the problem until spring because where we live, we have a ton of snow. Like we have just gotten pelted. And so they couldn't bring what they needed to so that they could get up to the roof until all the snow uh, kind of comes to a more melted state. So the bird definitely could come back. <laughs> And I will keep you guys updated on that situation. Uh, thank you so much for doing this little story time with me and for your patience. And I promise to keep you updated on a Mr. Birdie Bird. And let me know in the comments below if you have ever had any crazy bird or animal encounter experience because I feel like these are just stories that you don't hear crazy often, I could be super wrong. But I just want to know that I am not alone in this. Or maybe I am, maybe. <laughs> maybe I'm just the weird one. But if you could just let me know, that would be great. I love to read crazy stories. So thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.